Wait, can you go up to the camera and see if I'm in focus? Am I blurry or can you see me clearly? I can see you clearly. Whoa! I look like Peter Pan. Don't I look like Peter Pan? <laughs> What's up guys? Today's video is going to be a September favorites and my cousin is here sitting with me. To wave your hand, they can see in the mirror. <gasps> there I see it. Anyway, my cousin Carson is in here. Um, you probably saw her and you were in all of the what vlogs? The Vancouver vlogs and from the cruise ship. You're in like all of them. So she's in all my vlogs. I'm going to be doing a September favorites. You guys know what a favorites video is. I'm just going to be showing you guys my favorite things from this month. So let's get started. So my first favorite, I actually showed you guys in my makeup haul. A few of the things in this are from a makeup haul. So don't mind that I'm repeating them, but my favorite this month has really been this foundation brush, and this is by Zoeva, so it's the 104 Buffer Brush or whatever. So I really, really love this. You can also use that. I used to use a brush just like this to blend out like my contour when I use like a cream, whatever, but I use this to apply my foundation everywhere, and I really, really like the coverage of it, but I tried to wash it the other day or like clean it or whatever, and it just didn't clean very well, and I don't know if it's whatever I use, but that was gross. But overall, this brush applies my makeup really, really well, so I like this a lot. Next, I have this lip color by Buxom, and I actually tweeted this a long time ago, but then I lost it. So it is just like a really pretty, like, pink nude, which I own, like, 100 pink nudes, but this one's just really, really pretty. And it's super creamy, and I saw it in Claudia Salewski's video. There is children screaming. So don't mind the screaming children, all my cousins are here right now. But anyway, I got this because I love like pink nudes and this is so creamy and I saw this in Claudia Salewski's video and I was like, I need to try that, I've never tried it. So I really, really love this with like a liner and then I just fill this all in. It is just a, it's called a nude lip foundation which is what I really, really liked and this is in the shade Undressed. Next I have this nail polish and this is the, what is this? All Eyes on Nudes Lip Polish. Lip Polish. I just said lip polish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting so confused. Okay, wait. So this is, this is the, F I almost said FC. <laughs> I can't speak. I can't speak. <laughs> this is the Essie Nail Polish, and it is in the shade, color, whatever, All Eyes on Nude, and it says Cashmere Matte. I didn't notice this when I bought the nail polish and then I put it on my nails and I was like, wait, this is matte. It is just the prettiest, like, it's just a tan nail polish basically, but it's really, really pretty because it's nude and I use this when I don't have fake nails on because when I take my fake nails off, my nails are super damaged, so I always like to go over it with just like a neutral kind of like nail polish and so this works really well for that. Next I bought the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and I really really love this. The first time I used it I did not understand how to use it on my face. I was like this is gross and then I tried to put it on my brush and do my eyeshadow and it just like wasn't working. But once you like test it out a bit it works better and I really really love this for applying like glittery eyeshadows. I don't know, I just really, really like the way this looks with glitter eyeshadows. Not so much on my face, like after I set my makeup. I only do that if I really want to look super dewy, um, but I like this for my eyeshadow. Next, I have a perfume, and this is the Juicy Couture Perfume. I forgot, like, the actual name of it. What is the name of this? I forgot, like, the actual name of this, but they sent this to me, and I posted a picture with it on my Instagram, and it smells so good. It smells really good. The only thing is that it smells almost like my grandma, but in like a better way. Like it smells like an older person could wear this perfume as opposed to like the Viva La Juicy. The Viva La Juicy one, which is like my favorite, smells very like vanilla-y and almost like younger or whatever. But this smells so good and it's definitely for like a more mature like look or like night going out. So I really, really like this for that and the packaging is so pretty and gold. I love it. Next, I have a watch, which is super random because I don't think I've ever talked about watches on here. But this one is from Daniel Wellington. And I'm not like a super big watch person. Like I don't, like I'm not like obsessed with them or think they're like super cute. I really like very basic watches. 
and this one is just like a black leather watch and the like face of it is rose gold and it's super super basic which is my favorite thing because I can wear this with like basically anything that I want like I could wear it with this outfit I can just wear it anywhere I want and so I love this watch if you guys want to go check out Daniel Wellington I'm gonna leave them down below so use the link that I put down below so that you guys can go buy one okay so the next thing are shoes and I got Birkenstocks so I got these like for my birthday and I don't know like you know there's like 20 hundred like different pair of Birkenstocks they all kind of look the same I don't know which kind these are but when I find them I'll link them down below so you guys can go check them out but I love the color of these and I've really been liking them because I used to have the little like Jesus sandals that are like tan but I lost them so I really needed like a new pair and these just look way cuter because they go with a lot more than the Jesus sandals do and Birkenstocks are just like a thing right now so I love these next thing is this candle and this is so weird for it to be my favorite because I think it was one of my favorites last year from Christmas so this is actually a Christmas candle and it's frosted cranberry so this is normally what I would burn in like the Christmas time but I I don't know why I just smelt it and I was like oh I smelt this smells good today it actually like fits into the fall category as well as Christmas and I just really love the smell of this it's just like frosted cranberries like it literally smells like frozen cranberries or like fruitiness but with like a hint of fall and Christmas I don't know it's just a mixture of yumminess and so I've been using this candle a lot it's like almost empty or whatever but I love this I bought two new candles from Bath and Body Works and they are my favorite candles like ever and I haven't even lit them yet which is why I didn't mention them in this favorites video because I was like you can't really mention a candle that you haven't lit yet but I love them so they'll probably be in another video but this one I've been burning a lot more um, I don't know why I just really like this one so now moving on to music I'm gonna go on my phone and pick out so I recently just like started paying for Spotify like I did like the seven-day free trial and I really liked it so if you guys don't have Spotify like get Spotify it's so good and I can make playlists like anytime I want this isn't sponsored by the way I just really like Spotify and I just bought it so I'm super excited about it um, but I made a playlist and it's my September favorites or whatever and I don't have a lot because I'm like just getting into like making the playlist and stuff but I made one and my favorite song off my playlist is I'm yours by Justine Justine Sky or whatever it's one of Kylie Jenner's friends you guys probably know if you like love Kylie Jenner um, she has this new album and it's emotionally unavailable and this song I'm yours is so good I'm obsessed with it and I also have collide by her which is featuring Tyga and then I mentioned in my other my last August favorites video I mentioned Alicia Cara which I have her whole like album or her EP or whatever in here because I love that and then I also have really been liking Halsey, so I have the New Americana, which if you guys are Halsey fans and you guys are like, you're so basic, but I don't really listen to Halsey that much. I only like two or three songs by her, but this one I've been listening to a lot this month. And then the last album that I've really been loving this month is What A Time To Be Alive by Drake and Future. I love this album, and if you guys want to know my favorite song, my favorite song is probably Diamonds Dancing or I'm The Plug. No, I like Change Locations a lot too. I don't know. I really like all of them. So this whole album is really good if you like that kind of music. Um, but yeah, that's it for my music. So for my last favorite, I wanted to mention something I got a while ago. And I tweeted it if you guys follow me on Twitter. By the gay... By the... I said by the gay. <laughs> by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter. Because there's lots and lots of pictures that I post on my Twitter that I can't post on my Instagram because it like doesn't go with my theme or whatever but I post them on my Twitter so if you guys want to see that I tweet and stuff a lot more than I Instagram but what I wanted to mention is this so I got my first YouTube plaque and yes I'm saying my first YouTube plaque because one day I'm going to get a million I'm going to have an a million plaque but this one is really really like special and amazing to like get and so it's just really cute I have it up in my room just like shows like my accomplishments and stuff so it just says congratulations for surpassing a hundred thousand subscribers which I'm super super proud of and I could not have this without you guys like obviously like this is because of you guys and it's just really really amazing to have so thank you guys for always supporting me and like being I don't know just like you're always supportive of everything I do and this just shows that so thank you guys 
Um, speaking of you guys, so I am going to BeautyCon New York, which is October 17th. It is obviously in New York City, and I'm super, super excited to be going. So if you guys live in New York or you're going to BeautyCon, I'm going to be there. So if you guys ever see me around there, just say, hey, I'm super, super excited to be going. So this is my first, like, YouTube convention kind of thing. I've never been to VidCon or anything like that, so I really don't know. But I really am excited to go. So if you guys see me, say hello. Um, but yeah, that's it for my favorites videos. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And follow me on all my social media links down below. And I think that's it. Bye, guys.